Uh, so I've got a bit of a love-hate relationship with uh, technology. I, I really love using technology when it works. Uh, I've got no time for geeking out. I've, I've got a bit busy business to run. I, I just need things to work when I need it to work. Um, so I've, I was a little bit skeptical when, when the guys at Team Dig uh, told me I needed an ISA. I had an Apple cinema display I paid a lot of money for. I was pretty happy with it, it was, was doing pretty well. Um, on a moment of weakness, they got me and, uh, and I bought a, t a CG271, uh, top of the range at the time. Uh, I got it back here to the studio and set it up pretty quickly, plugged it in, um, same as what I had. Everything worked, nothing changed. I, know, it, it, I was questioning why I'd spent all this money, so I plugged away with, with it for a few days and couldn't see any difference, so I put it away put my Apple Cinema display back in its spot, connected it back up, boom, there it was. It was clear as day. I mean, everything was, was, was contrasty, super contrasty. It was super saturated, it was super bright. It, it was just wrong, everything was wrong. Um, so I quickly unplugged it, put it away in a box where it still remains to this day. Um, the ISO went back back on the, on the desk and um, I've been using it ever since, it's brilliant. Um, I mean, a lot of people will tell you that, that uh, a piece of technology is not going to make you a better photographer and it's not going to make you better at your job, and that's true. But you can't progress unless you've got the right tools. Um, and if your colour and your tone matters, of course it matters, um, you, you need an ISO. Just get one. You need it. 